Hi guys, Nicole Herrick here with you, yet again, sticking her hands in the toilet. I'm gonna to show you how to install this on toilet bidet, uh, which definitely helps when you have a worldwide toilet paper crisis. <laughs> so what you're gonna to need to install this is the kit, of course, and an adjustable wrench, possibly some plumber's tape, most of the kits come with it, and if you're like me, uh, probably some gloves, actually. I just usually use my bare hands. <laughs> Let's go. So here's what your kit will basically come with. Um, they do look a little bit different, all the different models that you can get, but this is basically the unit. This is where you turn to turn it on. And these are two little sprayers that spray your, your, your bits. <laughs> This is an intersection for your hoses. This is a hose to run from your existing hose up into this one. And generally they all come with a little bit of plumber's tape. I've also just grabbed um, a little disposable container that I can uh, use to catch any water that's coming out and then I can just throw this away. Okay, so step one is to turn off the water and then you need to flush all of the water out of the system. Now we want to take off the existing hose um, that attaches the toilet to the tap. And then if there is no plumber's tape left on the thread, just add some more. It, it really does need it to give you a tight seal. You also need to put plumber's tape on the two threads of this connector piece. I usually go around um, about three to four times. Don't know if that's right. But that's just what I do. And then attach your intersection to the tap. The one pointing downwards is going to be connecting to your original hose that was hooked up. And the one off to the left goes to the bidet. This comes with your kit. And then we want to take off the toilet seat. So you push in and turn those plastic screws on the side. And then after you've taken those two off, we need to take this back piece off as well. There is two plastic lug nuts underneath each side. I'm really not sure which direction these go in because when it's upside down, I just get really confused. So can't help you there. Slide that off. And then we've got this other piece that you might not need to take off, but I did on mine. And if anyone can tell me how you actually get that back on, uh, just please let me know. But I had to take it off completely and just leave it off. So yeah, all right. Pop your bidet on and you can see that these little thingies move around. You can slide it left, you can slide it, slide it, slide it right. And this is a bit tricky, but you basically need to sort of work out where it needs to sit so that the toilet seat sits flat. Now, it's definitely, definitely tricky, trust me. But I mean, I don't know, maybe it'll be really easy for you. Maybe it was just me that was just really struggling to make the toilet seat sit flat. But what I did figure out was that I needed to extend that back piece um, by pulling it out a little bit. I'll show you that in just a sec when I figure it out. Ah, here we go. She's, she's figuring it out. She's figuring it out. Yep, turn it over, Nicole. Ah, oh, you can pull that out. I see, I see. That's going to help. Yep. Yep, good. Okay, you, you've got it now. I, th I think you're, you're working it out. All right. Put it back in, Nicole. Come on, you're wasting people's time. Put it in. All right, so yeah, again, there's like four slots that you can put the um, screws through and obviously move it around and stuff, but yeah, you're just gonna have to keep playing with it until you get it right. Now I'm just popping back on those plastic lug nuts, just fairly loose at this stage, just so I can try and get it all lined up, put the toilet seat on, check it out, see how we're doing. Yeah, again, we just need to pop in those plastic thingies. So remember, push in and turn. So the last step is to hook up the hose for the bidet. This simply screws on underneath and just gently tighten it with um, a wrench. You don't want to snap anything. Turn on the water and wait for your system to fill up. So 
So I just wanted to show you a little note on these things. So these things pop down and then spray towards your bits. Okay. Um, if you're finding that these are popping down, but then the water is not spraying towards your bits, it's sort of like spraying all over the bowl and stuff. It's because this is too close to the bowl and they're sort of hitting that on the way down and they're not being able to sort of come all the way down. So if that's the case, just readjust your toilet seat and the way it's set up just to come a little bit forward. I've got mine, it's barely clearing like a couple of millimeters, but you want to be able to sort of bring these all the way, uh, these automatically come all the way down when you turn the water pressure on. All right, guys, here we are ready to test this and see if it works. Let's try the female one first. Ooh. Okay, nice steady stream. All right, now let's try the bum one. Wow. Okay, um, that, that's pretty strong. I'm, I'm looking forward to using this. Uh, so obviously, um, you still need to dry your bum once you've used a bidet like this. Um, I would definitely recommend if you're going completely toilet paper free or if there isn't access to toilet paper where you are, then cut up some old towels and have a bucket or something ready to go to pop those into and then um, obviously give them a really good rinse before you put them in the washing machine. But there we go guys, uh, a bidet, on toilet bidet. I'd say that's job done, but that would be a terrible pun. <laughs> Thanks guys. Are you thinking about installing a bidet? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button, it really helps me out and subscribe if you love tips and tricks.